It was important because we realise as a company that we are facing a climate emergency. Although we've been in the middle of a pandemic and um, the world has become a very small place, climate change is something that we need to address and it's been recognised by our chief exec, um, Mike Haig, and by the rest of the company that we must do something. Carbon neutrality is part of our road to becoming an overall net zero company and um, it's, it's important that as a company we reduce our carbon and also any carbon that we can't reduce we take out and we remove via offsetting. Our carbon footprint is based on our operational activities. Uh, it's based on the energy that we consume in all our offices across the world. It also takes into account all our business travel. We collect in the data from the offices, again, on a global basis, and um, our business travel, we download all that data, data cleanse it, make sure it's making sense, and then we can calculate our carbon footprint going forward. One of our biggest contributions is our flight data. As a global company, a global engineering and management consultancy, we specialise in putting expertise where it's needed most across the globe. So this has been one of our biggest challenges to meet. key to going carbon neutral is about reducing carbon in the first place and that's been fundamental to the to the plan and what we're trying to do. Um, we have reduced over the past five years 45% per employee and uh, we're on target to reduce by another 25% by 2024. So within our offices we're switching to renewable energies, we have a plan to do this. Within in our travel, um, we're switching again to hybrid and electric cars where we possibly can. And um, air travel, we are fundamentally advising where we can don't travel and use things like Teams for, for meetings and only travel when it's really, really necessary. We've also signed up to the science-based targets to reduce our emissions year on year um, to maintain that 1.5 degrees C increase in global temperatures by 2050. But I can't stress enough, the actual reduction of carbon has been fundamental. Um, offsetting is only a last resort. It was important for us that the offsetting that we chose, the off-the-shelf offsetting, was something that was personal to us as a company and also had wider sustainability benefits. Uh, we chose a project that is re-wetting peatland in Indonesia and it's a project that we as a company have been involved in setting up and advising and again it's something very personal to us but it also had the wider sustainability benefits in terms of it improved the habitat, helped provide a habitat for protected species, it also had wider social benefits and um, brought in local um, employment, all these things are, are core to the way that we like to do business and we like to work. There is a cost to going carbon neutral of financial implications. You need to invest in the reduction in carbon um, and as well as paying for the offsets. However, the financial rewards and the overall rewards are humongous to say the least. In terms of the benefits is it makes good business sense and certainly if you are addressing carbon and addressing carbon reduction going forward, it means that we will have a more resilient and more, uh, more sustainable business going forward. My advice for going carbon neutral as a global company is have the right leadership. It was key 
that when I went into the meeting room last September with a great plan to go carbon neutral by 2022, Mike Haig, our chief exec, turned around and said, I want it by 2020. And here we are now in 2020, carbon neutral. We all got behind this ambitious target as a global company to reduce our carbon and make it happen. And fundamental to what we were doing is making sure that we measure our carbon footprint again on a global basis and ensure that it's accurate, traceable and also visible to all the company. So all in all, if you put your mind to it, you can, you can achieve anything. So my advice is just go for it, become carbon neutral. Thank you.